so it's just Cassidy and I. Um, <clears throat> we are currently at Duke Hospital uh, because my husband and I felt like we were seeing an increase in the number of seizures that she was having. And um, we just wanted to make sure that everything is good with her. So, you know, especially with the baby being due next Wednesday. So, for those of you that do not know us and do not know Cassidy, um, we just, she has a Cardi syndrome and it's characterized by a few different things, but basically she has epilepsy. Um, when she was a baby, she had infantile spasms and she has an agenesis of the corpus callosum. So the highway in your brain essentially that connects the two halves does not exist for her. And she also has some visual impairment. But, to be honest, we don't know the extent of that, extent of that because she is nonverbal. So, we think that she can see fairly good. Uh, she'll reach for food, she reaches for toys and all of that. But, just on her vision scans, it looks like, it looks like she could have something going on. Um, so, like I said, we usually have... She's like kicking things and messing with things. But we usually have pretty good seizure control. I might see one to two seizures a month. And yesterday I saw five. So I went ahead and called pediatric neurology here. And they wanted to bring her in and just do an EEG because she hasn't had one in a while. Um, so when she was two weeks old, she had uh, started having seizures and I brought her to the hospital and that's when they realized that she had tumors in her ventricles and they did their resection surgery at that point and then when we moved to California she also started having seizures again and they did a rescan and realized again the tumor was back and that they needed to do surgery in California so we try to stay on top of those things because when she's on her medicine, which she takes in the morning and then at night, she generally is fine and good to go. So, whenever we see, like, the weird behavior and a spike like that, we're kind of just concerned and we just like to make sure that it's not something more than just, you know, a small thing. Um, <clears throat> can you stop trying to get stuff? Like, so her cords are over here and this is the second time they've put this on because she has already pulled these out the leads in her head one time and so we're about to she's getting her her nurse is gonna switch her bed linens out and so she's in my chair and she's so busy so anyway um that's why I went ahead and made this video right so she also is non-mobile, but Cassidy gets around and is super active and engaged and like very interested in life and everything and getting into everything. So there's that. <laughs> Hi. She pretty much stays home with me and that's why I like having the flexibility of my jobs because I like being able to be home with her. I just don't think that necessarily any body that she's been in the care of like as far as daycares and schools have been as hands-on as you know a parent would be or her grandma who she stays with sometimes so it's nice to be able to be home with her and watch what she eats and make sure she gets meds and all those things why are you trying to get me <laughs> so that's that we just wanted to check in with you guys and um this is how I'm spending week 39. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be uh, released tomorrow. We got here yesterday and we got a new med and if it works, then we should be going home soon. Settle down. All right, well, we will check in later. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Hey, so I just got home from the hospital with Cassidy um, and the crib was here. So I decided to go ahead and try to 
start putting it up. I've got the pieces out um, and I'm just gonna see how it goes. Honestly, crib assembly usually isn't that hard, but we'll see because I've never put this crib together. So hopefully it goes well because I really wanna get this up and get this house clean because I have literally like less than a week before my due date. So ready to go.